Good morning. Welcome to Devotions. My reading is 1 Corinthians 1, 3 to 9, and the theme is, You are a gift. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you've been enriched in every way, with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge. God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you firm to the end so that you'll be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. That ends the quote. Peter 1.8 says, If you have all these things that Paul alludes to and keep growing in them, they will keep you from being of no use and from having no fruit when it comes to knowing our Lord Jesus. As we know, the church, the, oh, let's try again. As we know, the church in Corinth had become very clicky. Some enjoyed the leadership of Paul, and others preferred Apollos. Paul was not prepared to entertain this notion, as we are all simply servants of the Lord with different roles. The growth of any congregant is entirely the responsibility of God. I am not responsible for anyone else's relationship with God. I can take the horse to water, but I cannot make it drink. However, I can try to work towards a common goal, using all my talents and abilities. Poor lines of communication can cause fraction in a church or a church group, but this aspect can be ameliorated. If the leadership is dysfunctional, then the clergy can intervene and vice versa. Paul was an amazing mentor, polite and respectful. He reminds us here that we, that you, are a gift to your church. We have been enriched by God with speech, knowledge, spiritual gifts and enough teaching to remain blameless. Gifts are given freely, not because we deserve them, but because God is kind and generous to his people. So, may I encourage you to tell yourself every day that you are a gift. Peter C. shared with us on Monday that we can go from good to excellent congregants by bolstering faith and works. Put all we have and know into practice. Put in the effort as we have been given the tools. All those women in our churches who knit, crochet and sew for the needy, you are a gift. All those who bake, do door duty, hospital visits, grief counselling, frail care duty, prayer duty, piano duty, worship team duty, sound system duty, TLC duty, admin duty, finance duty, lay preaching duty, school reading program duty. You are all such a gift. Jesus said in John 4, 34, my food is to do what God wants me to do and finish his work. We are all priests in our ministry of the grace of God to one another. Perhaps you can wander into your minister's office and share other ideas of what other gifts you can offer. How are you able to make a difference? I end with Psalm 9.10. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, 
have never left alone those who look after you. Amen. And tell yourself every day, I am a gift. Amen.